I've just dropped my boyfriend to the airport, so welcome to Living Alone Diaries. There's these two cats that I've been feeding on the road when I see them and they're so cute. I always like to store some cat food in my car for the occasions like this. And it makes me so sad that they don't have a proper home. But I just cannot take more cats because whenever I travel, I have to give Tenny away and it's already not easy. So when I'm retired, one day when I'm old and I'm here 100% of the time, then I'm gonna have more animals. Until then, I'm just gonna help as much as I can like this. And we're home, let this living alone adventure begin. Okay, the first scary part is done. I'm saying that because I'm 36, I've been having my driver's license since 18 years old. So I've had my license for 18 years and I've only really started driving like two years ago and I haven't been to many trips alone alone. And I'm still really anxious when I drive, let alone alone and when there's a lot of cars on the road, like today. So I'm happy I made it home safely. This is not food for you, Tin. This is for your friends that live down the street. We're just gonna cover that up. She's usually afraid of the car and look at her now. This food must smell really good. I also stopped at the farm and got 18 fresh eggs. They look super tasty. I think I'm gonna have three today. I always get so thirsty when I drive, probably because I lose all the water because I stress sweat a lot. First, a little bit of sausage for our girl and then we can start our day, right? We have our priorities straight in this household. Yes. Finally, we're getting some sun because it has been misty, foggy, cloudy, rainy, hot and humid for the past week. Who would have thought that it is July? But now things are looking much better and actually extremely pretty, like these colors. Wow. I've missed some blue skies. I think it's gonna get quite hot today, so we need a quick change of fit. I want something very comfortable like a t-shirt and shorts. I think this one could be good. I'm still sweating so much even though I'm not driving anymore. How and why? Probably because it's so extremely humid. It is 1 p.m. and I have a couple of things on my agenda today. But first, I wanna eat something. I want a snack. And yesterday I've decided that I wanna stop snacking, but I think my boyfriend has left a couple of apricots in the fridge and I feel the urge to eat them. What? No apricots. Yep. To be yep. fair, I said yep. to him five times, please take them all, don't leave any behind because otherwise I'm gonna snack and I really don't wanna be snacking. And sadly he listened. Hmm. Well then, I think I'm gonna have three kiwis. I have the urge to have one last snack, okay? And I know kiwis are healthy, not a big deal, but I have problems with fruit, guys. I don't know, it's because of the sugar content. I do best if I don't have fruit. Today I'm gonna have last kiwis and then five days, I'm gonna be very good with my diet. Okay, so I'm gonna be alone for five nights, six days. And this is not the first time in my life that I am living alone, but it's definitely the first time me being alone in a house. Because I was living alone for half a year in Norway, but I was in an apartment. But for the past six, seven years, I haven't been alone once. And specifically, I've never slept alone in a house. So this is gonna be quite a big step and a little bit of a challenge, especially at night. Because right now, I'm courageous. Like, I can do this. This is fun. But when it gets completely dark outside and we live a little bit remotely, I think it's gonna be a bit scary. But we'll get through it together. As you can see, we're located a little bit above the village and our immediate neighbors are just farmland. Corn and more corn and sometimes cows and grass fields. But I do live in a nice safe region, so I'm sure it's gonna be fine. When it gets dark, I'm still gonna be a little bit Ugh. This girl, on the other hand, will definitely sleep like a baby. Look at her. Okay, so the first thing on the agenda today is cleaning. The house is definitely not in the catastrophic state, but if you look at the kitchen, it looks clutter. If you look at the dining table, not good. Then we have this pile of garden furniture cushions that we could put somewhere else. Living room looks messy. There's there's a ton of laundry that I need to do. But I'm gonna have to wait with the laundry because I have nowhere to put it because the sheets that I've washed three days ago are still dry. As I've told you, we've been having lots and lots of rain, humidity, fog, mist, everything wet, 
for the past five days. Moving on to the bathroom. The bed is not made, but luckily for me, this is the only thing in this room, so it is difficult to get messier than that. And then the bathroom, and this, you guys, was the place of a total <laughs> horror this morning. I woke up around 6 a.m. and I came here to go pee. And when I was done doing this business, I turn around, I look at the shower, and, and there, there was, was a cockroach. A cockroach. I know you guys may think that I'm exaggerating, but this was the biggest cockroach that I've ever seen. And my boyfriend is always the one that would take care of cockroaches. Like that is his business, that is his job. I just spot it and I'm like, ah, it's a cockroach, help. And he takes care of now it. Now we haven't had a cockroach here since probably August last year. And today, on the day that I'm staying at home alone for five nights, I see the biggest cockroach in the house. I don't even know how he didn't fall. And now I'm thinking, what if I'm sleeping and there's a cockroach like above now? I'm having one last snack before I start cleaning. These cockroach conversations have made me stressed. Why didn't I just have a lunch instead of having all those snacks? because they're elite and I'm stupid. Now I feel bad. I really want this living alone experience to be like a that girl experience. Like I wanna be productive, have clean surroundings. I wanna eat healthy. I wanna be happy. I just wanna prove to myself that after 15 years in a relationship, I can still be an independent woman. You know, that's all I'm asking. So stop whining and let's start doing things. I'm looking at myself at the viewfinder. It is a pep talk to myself. Because before you know it, it is gonna get dark and you have to seal proof your house for cockroaches. You have stuff to do because tomorrow you have more stuff to do. So you have to prepare. We're starting here because we don't wanna repeat the experience from this morning, okay? Yes. This cleaning product is vinegar based and apparently cockroaches and other insects don't like the smell of vinegar. So I have some vinegar here and I have more vinegar here that I'm gonna pour down the drains. Guys, I think I'm seeing something that could be a cockroach poop. I can even see some black specks down there. See, there's little black specks here behind the drawer. And these three poops were also on top of my makeup bag. I think we got it. It makes me sick thinking that this guy has been living here with me for at least a couple of days. I just hope that was the only one. I never ever leave the window open during the night. The doors are always closed. Like we're very careful. So how can an animal like that get into my house? This is not a little spider. This is not an ant. This is like a giant monster. So I asked locals, how is this possible? And everyone says that they come through the drain. So today I'm gonna be pouring some vinegar down the drain. We like to do this regularly, especially in the summer, just to prevent these occurrences from happening. And I haven't done it for a long, long time, I have to admit. My fault. Hopefully they will hate the smell and it will keep them away. Making bed at 4 p.m. Still better than not making it at all, right? Not sure. Look at this gorgeous little cutesy. Aw, this cat life is perfection, right? I've also put the laundry outside. Hopefully it will get dry quicker. Only kitchen left and first I'm gonna prep some lunch, put it in the oven and while that's baking I'm gonna finish this up. The house looks 
looks so much better now and I know this is gonna make me feel amazing for the following five days but I'm feeling so sticky and sweaty ew in a desperate need of a shower my lunch today is an avocado and some mackerel basically it's almost dinner time it's 6 p.m. we were busy what can I say I'm always terrified that I'm gonna eat a bone and it would get stuck in my throat when I'm eating fish. And now that I'm alone, it would be a specifically bad timing. Tomorrow I would like to film some shorts. So I like to do a little bit of planning in advance because that way things will flow much more smoothly tomorrow. I'm a type A personality. I need a plan, I need to know what I'm doing. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Tanny peeing in my strawberries, it is her favorite spot. I just let her do it. I guess that's why they're growing so beautifully because she fertilizes them daily. Going on an evening stroll with my baby is an absolute must. That was interesting for two seconds. I can see that it's actually raining a little bit, but this microscopic rain. Oh, I've just remembered that I have laundry on my terrace. Yikes. It is 8 p.m. which means that it's gonna start getting darker any second so I decided to push down these drain leads all around the house but here in my bathroom we have a problem because the leads would not close all the way down and you see this is how much they will close and there is definitely enough space for the cockroach to sneak in so I came up with this brilliant idea I'm gonna switch the drain lid with a little ball this is Tani's toy she says I can borrow it so I'm gonna put this on top of the hole Now we're prepared, the darkness can arrive. I'm getting hella anxious, guys. Ugh. Time to give our little girl some dinner. I don't know if I told you guys, but in case you are not aware, which if that's the case, I'm jealous because that means that you don't know cockroaches, which was also me up until four years ago. I've never seen a cockroach in my life up until five years ago. But anyway, if you're not aware, cockroaches are only active during the night. This is so hard. This is not so hard normally. Very unlikely that you're gonna see a cockroach, at least here where I live, during the day. They tuck away into the dark corners and they sleep during the day. And then when you go to sleep, those suckers come out of their holes and they have a party. Not fun. What a yummy dinner, right? Kitchen drains are also secure. I'm prepared, you guys. If I get a cockroach tonight, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I've been talking so much about these cockroaches, I'm definitely gonna get one. Last resort, if somehow I still get a cockroach after doing all this hard work today, I have a weapon. A weapon that works every time and this is this spray. My only job with this spray is that I have to hit it. I cannot miss. And cockroaches are very fast. I didn't know that. They're like and they just, I think I'm gonna put this one beside my bed. Usually we have it here in the kitchen on the floor, but imagine that I go to pee during the night, I open the lights in my bathroom, I see a cockroach, I have to go get this, I come back to the bathroom and the cockroach is gone. gone. What am I gonna do then? Probably go sleep in the car and then go to a hotel and then order exterminate. Best thing to do is to put this thing in the bathroom or somewhere close. Hey guys, it's time for an update. It is currently 2222, make a wish. My wish is that I have no insects tonight and that I sleep tight like a baby and I wake up feeling great. But anyway, I've eaten my dinner, I've been watching some TV and I'm feeling pretty great so far. I'm getting a little bit tired, probably soon I'm gonna go to bed. I have my Tani chilling next to me. So far, all good.
blow drying my hair outside so I don't have to vacuum any potential fallout because the bathroom is freshly clean, remember? Ah, yeah, but for us it's a problem. I am running super behind today because I've been on the phone with my boyfriend, my mom, my dad. Everyone wants to know if I survived my first night alone in the house. So now I'm just putting on my makeup and then I'm running outside to film my shorts because the lighting right now is perfection. We have some blue skies, we have clouds, we don't have sun. I love this and that's why I'm stressing out because I see this perfect lighting and I feel like I should already be filming. I have to do my makeup first. Plus I'm drinking some bone broth and breakfast I'm gonna have after filming the shorts. I put a little bit of pinkish lip pencil on my lips and then I kind of like to smudge it like this. The color looks really natural and it stays put all day. Let's get dressed and film the shorts. Now let's figure out what I'm gonna wear. I need three outfits because I'm filming three shorts. For one outfit, I think I'm gonna go this green t-shirt. For the next one, we have this red off shoulder and some dungarees. I just have to find those. And now we have third outfit. Something more towards white, pinkish, like that. Come on, come on, what do I wear? Too much. Maybe this one and again, the overalls. Yeah. Very cottage countryside vibes on all of them. I've changed my mind. For the first fit, I'm going with these denim overalls that I've had for over three years and I never wore them. I don't know why, it's such a good outfit. You put it on, you don't have to think about it. Okay, I've chosen my spot for the first short with some hydrangeas in the back. Let's go. I'm ready to film shorts number two. This is the fit. It looks very cute, but it is so uncomfortable. It is super tight across the shoulders and it just, you feel like you cannot move. I can manage wearing this for half an hour to film a short, but I could never wear this for an entire day. that light pastel eyeshadows will not work here. Okay, short number two is filmed and this top is seriously so uncomfortable. It is making me so stressed. Like whenever you do this, it just kind of goes up and it is just, ah, oh, I hate uncomfy clothes. I hate it. It looks pretty though. But I just hate You're it. You're so constrained. You're just like, Ugh. I can't even lift the hand to hold the camera because it is just, uh, it jumps up. So happy I can change now. I'm scouting some location for short number three. I want to have these hydrangeas in the back. But the sun is coming right now, so I don't think that this is going to work. Because hmm. we have some shade, we have some sunny spots. This is a no-go for professionals like us. Maybe here. I think this may work. We'll see what the sun says. But hey, this is my outfit number three. Much more comfy than the one before, even though the shoulders are still bothering me here. Yay, I'm done. These are my props. I'm excited to get dressed in something that feels like a PJ. I'm super happy that the weather has been holding so well. I think it is around 11 now. I only had that bone broth, which honestly made me feel a little bit sick. So I need to have a proper breakfast now. I need to chill a little, you guys. Ever since I started filming this living alone, diaries episode. I've been just go, go, go. Yesterday cleaning, writing scripts, now waking up, getting ready, washing hair, filming. I need to chill for a bit because this is not healthy. This is my problem because I'm not good at taking a break and relaxing a bit. Yikes. I've realized that I have another little scene to film for the short. Now it's 11.30. Girl, go get yourself your breakfast. Yes, I'm going now. After breakfast, I also have to clean the mess that I just made. Yes. Oh. oh my gosh, we're so hungry. Yeah, Jackie. Oh, just one more. No, no, no. No more. No.
Now I'm gonna upload a short that I filmed and edited about two weeks ago. And then I have some work with a long video that is also ready to be uploaded. I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow because I don't wanna post two videos in one day. So yeah, it's gonna be one or two hours sitting here by the desk and I don't mind it because the morning was very go, 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 active, doing stuff, in and out of the house, switching outfits. I'm tired, happy to be sitting here for a while. The short is uploaded, check, go watch it. On to task number two, the long video. Okay, I watched the long video once again, looks fine. I'm gonna upload it later. Now I have to go take the laundry, put it outside. Hope that it won't start raining. And then I'm gonna open the TV because I wanna watch Tour de France because we have this Slovenian guy, Pogacar, that is doing so well and I wanna witness his amazing ride. But first let's do this laundry very quickly and that is a huge part. I think I can put the laundry outside. We have some blue sky here. We have some gray clouds there. It's a gamble, but I'm feeling risky. We're not just in risk of the rain today, but it is also a little bit windy, so sometimes a disaster happens. I put all the laundry on the stand like this, but then a wind gust comes and knocks everything to the floor. To avoid that, I take my ankle weights that I am absolutely not using to work out. And I place them on the stand legs to secure it in place. Good use of the ankle weights. Okay, now cycling. Not me cycling, but Pogacar cycling. Me watching and chilling. I need it. Whoa, this seems like a really tough sport. How do they manage cycling in the sun in 40 degrees Celsius? I'm here sitting and I'm already sweating. But to my defense, it is really super humid here. That was a nice break. Now we gotta edit the thumbnail for tomorrow's long video. I'm currently uploading this video and I'm gonna make it live tomorrow. The time is almost 3 p.m. I should start making lunch, but I just don't feel like cooking. When there's two people, it just makes so much more sense. And I'll cook the entire meal just for me. I would love to live on snacks, but this is so not healthy, so we're not doing it. Kitchen, here I come. We're making lunch. We're making steak and probably avocado because I'm not in the mood to make anything else. This lunch is nothing special, but it also only took 10 minutes to make, even less, so I'm not gonna be complaining. And I'm probably gonna have a dessert after, so I'm good. Steak's all right, avocado's all right. I'm hoping for a better dessert. Another outfit change because I'm filming another short today. Your girl's on fire. This is the result of my shorts filming session and I can confirm that it is absolutely elite. Just gonna switch up the shirt again because I don't wanna sweat up a third piece of clothing. Already have so much laundry to do. No need to be doing more and more laundry. And I tell you guys, in this humidity, I wear a t-shirt for half an hour and it is sweaty. It is ready to go to the wash. It's no joke. I'm watching a gaming tournament in London where my boyfriend's brother is playing and my boyfriend is actually there watching him, so maybe I'm gonna see him on the TV. This blueberry sorbet is seriously mm. Obviously, I already got some blueberry stains on my white shorts as well. It goes hand in hand. This is the proof that healthy things can be super tasty. Me and my babes are going on an evening stroll. Pretty, pretty. Let's go check out the garden. I think I'm gonna come and get some vegetables tomorrow morning. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's needed. Check this out. Definitely need to come pick up the chart tomorrow because it's looking very big and very pretty. I don't want it to go bad. It looks so clean, no insects. It's also gonna be very easy to wash. Definitely picking it up tomorrow. Do I have some blueberries here? Maybe one. I got two, one bigger and half green and one smaller looking very nice and ripe. I'm gonna start with the green one because I think it's gonna be the worst of the two. Sour, but I still take it. This one is gonna taste delicious, I think. Mm. I 
can't believe we are having blueberries this year. My boyfriend was trying so hard with his blueberries and I had no expectations. Like, I always told him, this is not a place to grow blueberries. There's gonna be nothing out of them. And look at them now. I'm sorry, I was skeptical. You won. Can you give me some blueberries now? Tini, tini. The first thing I do when I lay on the couch every evening is do a wordle. I've been doing it for a year and yesterday I freaking forgot. I think because I was so stressed with being alone after so many years for the first time because of all the cockroaches and all the cleaning. And my streak was 30. My maximum streak was 40 and I was at 30. And now I'm again at zero. This is so not fair. I hate it.